Welcome all. In this lecture, we shall learn how to use JavaScript interrupt to close the model. Model dialog, which was still open after saving to the database in the last lecture. So we'll again recap that, revisit that. So I've got this movie uh, detail dialog open and I've put all the form fields or I've already filled it with the real um, database, the Princess Bride adventure comedy and if I click on submit see it's not closing okay so I have to close it by the cancel button or the cross okay so if you look into the database so I have now opened the movies table in the database for the blizzard movie app and you can see the latest entry the princess bride which you have just entered but it didn't close the dialogue so that's what we will set to do now what this JavaScript interrupt is actually, we can call the JavaScript code or JavaScript function from the .NET code to close the dialog. So JavaScript function, to do that, we use the IJS runtime abstraction. So first we'll create a JavaScript method to close the bootstrap dialog by getting the ID of the dialog. And second is to inject the IJS runtime. And lastly, use the injected object to issue JavaScript interrupt calls. Okay, so first of all, we need to add the two uh, the function to hide the model within the host.html host.cshtml file. Okay, so below this link and within the head section, I will open a script tag and within the open and close script tag, I'll have to write a function to hide the model. So that function is function, okay, hide model and I will pass the model ID and this jQuery, this is basically jQuery. which is a JavaScript library. So plus I'll use the passed on modal ID. Modal ID dot call the modal function and pass the hide. Okay. hide. So I have completed my hide model function in JavaScript. Now all I need to do is to come back to the movie detail component and I'll have to add something within the code section. I'll have to write a method or function and below the movie object this will be a private async task type it will return hide task model and all it does is to await a call on so I will use the JS runtime we called it we didn't okay so we'll have to inject the IJS runtime object inject ijs runtime so js runtime let's call this object js runtime injected object js runtime and i will use this js runtime await js runtime dot invoke async okay so asynchronously invoke on an object t value t value is here object is a javascript object and here it takes two arguments a string identifier and an array of object okay so string identifier is hide model because that's the 
JavaScript or uh, jQuery function that I wrote. You just you can check it the host.cshtml. So hide model, okay. Coming back here and then in the array of object, what I will pass is the moving model. Copy the identifier of this model. Right, finally, I will await asynchronously call this method await on height task model. Height task model, all right. That's it. Now, if I run this application and enter a data, I should be able to close it. So, I am going to enter some data from my database any hall and this is 24 1977 so 20th of 4th 4th month and 1977 the data I collected from the Wikipedia and other sources okay and this genre is romantic comedy so romantic Comedy and the director being Woody Allen. If you have heard his name, uh, some of you might have seen the movie also. Annie Hall and his running time of 93 minutes. Okay, so 93 minutes. And if you click on submit, it closed the data. And if you refresh, that will be in the database. It's Annie Hall. So you've got this data back. So in this lecture, we have sh shown how to make the JavaScript interrupt calls to close the model after saving it to the database.